Welcome to Mathematics Alive, Algebra Lesson 3, Removing Grouping Symbols. Here are the grouping symbols that we use in mathematics, parentheses, brackets, and braces. By distributive property, it can be shown that if a grouping symbol is preceded by a positive sign, you simply remove the grouping symbol or drop the grouping symbol and there is no change in the signs of the result. So we drop this grouping symbol and you have A plus B plus C. Then if a grouping symbol is preceded by a negative sign, then the sign here will affect the signs inside. So um, it is as if you are multiplying by negative 1 and the sign will be negative B and negative C for the uh, quantity inside. Again, here we have A minus the quantity B minus C. So the result will be A minus B and then there will be a change of sign here plus C. So we're ready to remove grouping symbols in our examples. When you remove grouping symbols and there are many grouping symbols involved, you remove the innermost grouping symbols first. Examples. So we here have uh, two grouping symbols and the innermost grouping symbol is found inside the brackets. So we remove this and we rewrite the rest. So we copy 2x minus 7 plus, and then you remove the grouping symbol. So 3x minus y. And then for our next step, we remove the next grouping symbol, but it is preceded by a negative sign, so there is a change inside, a change of signs inside. So we have 2x minus 7 minus 3x and then plus y. Then you combine the similar terms. 2x minus 3x is negative x and then plus y minus 7. And that is the final answer. Number 2. We have two grouping symbols and the innermost grouping symbol is here. So we remove the grouping symbol by distributing negative 3 inside and we will copy the rest first. So this is 5a minus 2 quantity 4a minus 3a, then plus 6b minus 6b plus 1. Then we combine the similar terms inside the brackets. Five A minus two quantity four A minus three A. We have A, then six B minus six B is zero. So we have A plus one. Then we distribute negative two inside. Applying distributive property, 5a minus 
2a minus 2 equals 3a minus 2. That's our final answer. For our third example, we have three grouping symbols. And we will remove the innermost grouping symbol here. So first, we copy the, the rest. We have 2m minus 3y minus 5m minus, and then we will multiply everything inside by negative 1 and remove the grouping symbol. Negative 7y plus 6m and we will next remove this grouping symbol, but we will first Combine 5m and 6m. Copy the rest. Eleven M minus seven Y. And then we will remove this grouping symbol the brackets. We can combine 3y and 7y. Before we remove the grouping symbol, the last grouping symbol, Ten Y minus eleven M. And lastly, we will remove the braces. And combine similar terms. So we have 11 plus 2, 13 m minus 10 y. And this is our final answer. In example number 4, we also have three grouping symbols. And we will delete the grouping symbol or remove the grouping symbol in the innermost part. So. Um, this is the grouping symbol that we will remove first. And copy the rest. 10x minus 6. Then remove the grouping symbol. Plus x plus 2y minus 8. Then remove the grouping symbol again. But this one, it is preceded by a negative sign, so we will change the sign. Negative 2x plus 10y. Next, we will remove the brackets, this one, and copy the rest. negative 8 plus 2x minus 10y. Next, we will simplify from within the braces. x and 2x. And then 2y and 
negative 10y will be combined. Copy 10x minus um, 6 minus 8. So you have negative 2x plus 2x 2y minus 10y Then, we will remove the braces. It is preceded by a negative sign, so we will change the signs inside. Ten x minus three x. 7x plus 8y plus 2. And that is our final answer. If this video is helpful for you, then please share it with your friends. And then like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.